So this video is a short introduction to microbial community analysis of amplicon sequencing data. When we do amplicon sequencing, we uh, use specific primers to amplify a certain region of one gene. Uh, during this course, we have a 16S ribosomal RNA gene data. And the sequencing is typically done either using Illumina MySeq or ion torrent PGM. This kind of data can answer the question, who is there? And it's important to note that this data is different from full metagenomics data, where the aim is to sequence all the genes. And the full metagenomics data can answer not only the question, who is there, but also what are they capable of doing. So this slide uh, is by Dr. Anu Mikkonen. And so here, um, there are a couple of things to remember. So first of all, this kind of uh, properly analyzed microbiomes can tell you who are there and in which proportions uh, if compared to your other samples. But it's important to remember that the copy number of the 16S uh, ribosomal RNA gene varies uh, between bacteria. So uh, one bacteria can have one copy and another one can have 15 copies. So obviously the one with 15 copies will then also give more sequences, even if the actual amount of the bacteria were the same. Um, it's also important to notice that this kind of data will not confirm that someone is not there uh, because uh, it could be that your sequencing depth was not sufficient. If you are very unlucky, you might also see something which seems to be there but actually wasn't in the sample um, if you had a contamination. So how many sequences are needed then? Well, 1,000 sequences per sample is meant to be enough for studying beta diversity. If you sequence more, uh, that can tell you more, but even 100,000 sequences are not necessarily enough to ensure that something really isn't there. This slide is also by Anu. So just to remind you, so, um, this example is from the 16S uh, ribosomal RNA gene. So the amplicons are called by the uh, variable regions they contain. So these two images are from this article. And here on x-axis you have the base position in the 16S uh, ribosomal RNA gene. And then on the y-axis you essentially have the how conserved uh, the bases are. So you can see that there are regions which are very highly conserved up here and between them there are very uh, variable regions. So when we do amplicon sequencing we design our primers to these conserved sites so that they then span the, so that we can amplify the variable region. We can divide microbial community analysis essentially into three major parts. So there are lots of pre-processing steps. Uh, we need to clean the sequences uh, in several ways, and then we align them to the, in this case, the 16S ribosomal RNA reference alignment. Once that is done, we can classify the sequences, so we assign them taxonomically. And then finally, we can then move on to the community analysis and visualization. So here are the, uh, I list the typical steps which are discussed during this course. And I have colored in green uh, the pre-processing steps. As you can see, there are quite many of them. And in purple, the classification and counting and then in black the statistical analysis and visualization. <laughs>